I wanted to go over some of my riding gear. Uh, I know I've been uh, making reviews on the MSR Voyager pants and jacket and the Sedici Garda pants and jacket. And uh, I kind of wanted to show what I ended up kind of making a daily ride gear for me. It's uh, getting hotter out. It's gonna be uh, in the 90s today and it's already, uh, it's only about 11 o'clock in the morning and it's already starting to get pretty hot up here, especially doing some riding. I've been reaching more for the Sedici Garda in these warmer temperatures. I kind of been avoiding the, the Voyager um, gear just because it's a little heavier, um, a little less comfortable, and uh, I think the airflow is a little less than on here. Uh, this is just a little lighter weight. Um, but the problem with that is that the uh, Sedici Garda pants don't really work at all with these boots. They won't go over them. Um, so I didn't want to wear the Voyager pants because they're a bit heavier and bulkier. So I uh, reached for my Thor uh, in the boot pants. Uh, and I also have the Thor jacket. Um, but the reason I went with this setup is the pants allow me to go in the boots. And then I, uh, these are bring your own protection. So I have Alpine Star knee pads under here and then a uh, padded uh, kind of shorts on that uh, give you some hip protection and tailbone protection. So I like that over going with say the Voyager pants out here as uh, this is a little lighter weight. Um, it ha still has good protection that I think uh, it's plenty durable fabric for if you go down on the asphalt. Um, but it's got the ventilation, it's got some pockets, which puts it uh, over, say, like the MX style pants, where it's got good ventilation, but you can't close that ventilation off if it gets cooler out, or you're on the highway and you don't want it, um, and then you don't have any pockets, usually on those MX pants. Uh, and then the MX pants, I think, are usually a lot lighter fabric, not something that you probably want to hit asphalt in. Um, and then an uh, advantage over, say, uh, the Voyager ADV pants, it, for me out here on this more technical stuff where you might go down uh, or you I'm I always go down I always crash uh, but it's having the dedicated knee pad which uh, gives me the confidence that it's gonna be there where it needs to be whereas if you have the in the pants knee protector uh, when you go down your pant leg might twist or something and your knee gets exposed so I'm a little more confident with these and these ones are pretty comfortable uh, I, I really have no complaint riding out here with these knee pads and uh, padded shorts on they don't add that much bulk or uh, discomfort so that that to me is a better compromise there it gives me added protection versatility with the pockets and the vents um, without all the bulk of the ADV style pants or the, uh, the lack of a dedicated knee pad and then the reason I don't go with the uh, Thor jacket uh, most of the time is that's also bring your own protection. And I do have an Alpine Star, uh, you know, full body protecting suit that has the forearms, shoulders, chest and back protector. But that's just, it's a little bit bulky, uh, less comfortable because it's always kind of squeezing you uh, all around your body. And then it's one more layer that you got to wear. So I kind of like, uh, I, I want some kind of good protection, especially for on the highway coming to and from. Uh, I don't want to go down with just a, a jacket that has no padding or uh, a jersey. So a jacket like this, I can just throw it on real quick. It has the abrasion resistance. It has uh, shoulder, knee pads, and a back pad. So it gives me uh, all the protection I feel I need for being on the road. And out here, uh, it came in handy the other day when I was going down left and right on the KLX on some uh, loose uh, rocky downhill trails uh, so that probably helped uh, protect me quite a bit is uh, the shoulder pads but this uh, gives me the versatility again a lot of pockets a lot of breathability um, but even with this I'm getting hot here so far just on a short amount of riding and I'll just probably take it off and uh, just go down to a shirt and uh, I'm, I'm willing to make that compromise out here at the slower speeds um, and then for gloves uh, I really uh, been keen on these MSR uh, ADV air gloves. Uh, they're just really comfortable, nice for the warmer weather. And then again, they give me more protection than the MX gloves that I have been wearing off the road. And I don't feel the need to switch those MX gloves. I'd wear them off the road. But as soon as I went to hit the highway, I wanted to switch back to a dedicated street gloves that had some more protection in case I did go down on the asphalt. So those are really good. 
my helmet, of course, uh, Old Faithful. Uh, this, I used to have a street dedicated helmet when I first got the um, spark peeling, but now I just wear this all the time for everything. I just, it's got my uh, communicator on it. Uh, and then I find this really versatile. I love the uh, ability to just leave these uh, MX goggles uh, seated in here. That always gives me a little bit of sun protection um, and added uh, screen. And then it lets me just flip that up. I still have some eye protection um, against, you know, bugs and dust and dirt. Because uh, that's the biggest thing. I'll be If you're out here riding and you don't have any kind of eye protection, some bugs are going to end up in your eye. And then you're going to be, you know, distracted playing with your eye while you're trying to go down the trail. So this guarantees I don't have that problem. And it just works great. And the tint on these is perfect. I've, I've rode uh, in the dark with this, no problem. I have no qualms about riding with this at any time of day uh, and then having the uh, face shield is just great because that catches uh, you know 90% of the bugs when you're out on the road well it catches all the bugs out on the road because you keep it down um, and then between the face shield and the goggles it kind of acts as a pin lock uh, just last week I was in slush you know raining slush snow um, and fog wasn't a problem it was just the sheer buildup of slush on the uh, the visor there and again this is easy to clean off and uh, then I still got clear goggles here and I was able also um, to just kind of crack it a little bit there and I could peek through if my slush was building up too much while keeping my uh, goggles relatively clean and having those goggles in there meant I had that bit of protection so if I was peeking up and a raindrop or something came in it wasn't hitting me in the eye um, and I guess that's one downside to this is you know that's the first detent so you got to go pretty wide open and then you have uh, a big bulge here in your vision uh, that is somewhat distorting and blocking your view so it's not a perfect helmet but uh, for the price it's really versatile uh, relatively comfortable I uh, can't complain about it and I'll do another video on this helmet just to uh, give you guys a full breakdown of some of the options available for it and what I like and don't like about it but I just wanted to share quickly this little setup here to show that you don't have to go with the dedicated uh, pants and jackets from one manufacturer or line of gear. Uh, mix and match to meet your needs. Uh, whatever makes you feel comfortable out here. If you just want uh, the, the lower body protection, if you're okay with not using an armor jacket. So just work with what you got. I was hoping this video will help you because I've got, you know, three, four sets of gear now at home. And uh, I'm finding that this is kind of where I'm going on what I want to reach for and that's the big difference is uh, I really like the MSR Voyager gear I think it's a great buy um, but right now in these hotter temperatures I don't want to reach for it I don't want to put that on uh, and that's why I grabbed this jacket so hope that helps uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, I'll try and keep bringing out some content for you bye